The 2006 thriller comedy Lucky number 11. Josh Harnett, Bruce Willis, Ben Kinsley, Morgan Freeman, Lucy Liu, Stanley Tucci. Bro, why have I not heard about this movie? With all these damn people in it. I'm pressing play. Let's watch. Grazing Bull, my brother. You haven't stood me wrong yet. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Damn, he got hit up. Is that a bookie? Oh, oh, shit. Bust his head, bust him with the baseball. <laughs> Is that Hudson Hawk? Take brown sugar back there, for example. She's pretty fucking foxy, right? Kansas City Shuffle is when everybody looks right. You go left. <laughs> Why is he talking to you? It starts with a horse. It's what they called back then a drugstore handicap. Drugstore handicap, 1979, New York. Simo says hello! What are you doing calling me here? Well, Gloria's got this friend, Doc, who's got a line on a doped-up racehorse. The fix is in at Aqueduct. Seven. Okay, who's your second favorite uncle? Just Folks are getting a big dose of the gimmies. Hell yeah, you start to believe it. Max was tired of not having a front lawn. Make sure he doesn't come home late. I will. In my ass, where were we today? Shea Stadium. For sake. We met Spillers. Mm. Look, this money's gonna get you through Harvard. And you're gonna be a doctor. You're gonna be a doctor, but until then, you gotta stay in the car. Wait, watch, 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 watch. Almost forgot. Look at them cars, baby. Whew, a lot of money out there. A lot of work. I hear a sound effect and I used to use on radio commercials. So you go to the ticket vendor with your 20 grand in hand and you get nine to one. You're you... all in for 22 grand. 20 for the bet, two for the juice. No. Damn, so what you gonna do now? Henry! Henry! Hey, buddy. What? You got a light? No, just like you. Oh! Damn, they own them already? You I haven't given them time to get any money. Please. Damn. Please. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin entered a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest in Monte Carlo and came in third. <laughs> I bet that's a real story. So that's a Kansas City shuffle. No, it's a Kansas City shuffle. They look right. And you. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking crazy, bro. Put him on a wheelchair and put his ass in a truck. Lucy Lou. Oh, see, that makes sense because I can usually tell how tall someone is by their knock. You have a deceptively tall knock. Congratulations. Somebody hit you? Yeah. What, like he tripped and you fell? Yeah, just think. Two weeks in New York and the only Kelly you'll remember is the Kelly who gave you your first hand job. Jerkins Perkins. Yeah, so I just got into town, Nick. I'm on my way over to your place. So you might, might be in mud. Oh, man. That's how you got hit in the face. You said bad things happen in threes. You lost your job, your apartment building was condemned, Kelly was cheating on you, and you got mugged. But overlooked your suitcase. Oh, it's heavy. Maybe you thought it would make for a very speedy getaway. You see, this is your third mugging. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I travel. <laughs> a clue to what? Maybe it's a clue to what happened to Nick. We don't know anything happened to Nick. We don't. I totally forgot. I was on my way to the store and I thought, Nick, you'd have sugar. It's like something from a Norman Rockwell painting. With my penis? No. <laughs> Lucy Lou is absolutely adorable. I wanted to try and catch the next show. 
She was trying to catch the next show. That's not her. Boss wants to see you. I'm not the guy you're looking for. I don't live here. Yeah, well, who, who are you? I'm Slevin. So he can bump it off down the road. <laughs> Why your teeth look like that? <laughs> Listen, Mom. Yo, I fucker. got this. I got no, this, no, 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 no. Slow, I slow, this. slow, slow, slow. You just so happen to be here today. So I guess you the cat I'm supposed to pick up. Slevin Clark Kent. So I guess no one ever taught you not to use the word you're defining in the definition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say something else. I My nose is already broke. Uh, yeah, you, 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 you should have thought about that before we started in with all the lip. Then he let him get dressed. He got a shotgun on his table. I don't know who this dude is, but... Well, listen, your boys Elvis and Slow picked up the wrong guy. Damn, fucking broke his nose twice, look like. Even shrew whiskers made excellent toothpicks. In essence... I don't know, you brought me here. Yes, I did, but back when you thought I was him. That was my son. You notice how I said was? Sent from an is to a was before he'd had his breakfast. Yo, his fucking nose, man. I, I can't stop looking at his nose. It looks like it hurts. My son was murdered, so the rabbi's son must share the same fate. Why do they call him the rabbi? Because he's a rabbi. <laughs> So how does the rabbi feel about that? He doesn't know. You know, but he doesn't know. Everybody knows. He's just a rabbi. That's right. But you owe me $96,000. Why should I go out and pay someone else when I've already paid you? Slim could use the company, and I could use the schmoo. Well, I don't suppose I have to say anything as trite and cliched as go to the police and you're a dead man. Don't worry. I'm gonna kill somebody. Don't worry, I'm going to kill somebody. Well, get dressed, you can tell me about it on the way. On the way, where are we going? Well, I cannot drive in New York. I don't know if this is New York, but it, I can't drive in New York. Yeah, I met him. He was dead. New York bookmaker Slim Hopkins was reported missing by his wife. Police have no leads, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Did somebody leave that paper? Do you mind if I get dressed first? Oh, could you my friend from the hotel. Be right back. Put your shoes on. Shlomo wants to see you. This is a mystery. I said I don't know. <laughs> Shlomo, ah. He's sorry that he hit you. You ever speak for him? Yes. Why are you staring at me? I remember him fighting Ant Man. This is right across the street from him. So you're really just going right back to the same place. Just across the street, and then you're gonna have to go in his building. For starters, I'm unlucky. You're unlucky and nothing more than a frame of reference for the lucky Mr. Fisher. A bad man who doesn't waste time wondering what could have been when I am what could have been and could not have been. You have 48 hours to get my money. Saul will keep an eye on you. In the meantime, you may go now. Because you're a horse. <laughs> Killing you before you killed me would have been kosher. Acceptable. <laughs> the kid and I have unfinished business. Oh boy. What the fuck? I know. The hotel without you to see my friend. She says the call to Nick came from room 1009. You lying? The door to room 1009 opens and there's our Mr. Smith in the flesh. So there I am pretending to dial a number and taking Smith's picture. Peanut butter sandwiches. I followed him. You out of the same building. Oh God, you follow Mr. Smith. I don't know who Mr. Smith is. And the worst part about it is I'm not Nick Fisher. Cause he's, he's a rabbi. We were dealing with a bona fide case of mistaken identity here. Yeah. Shouldn't you be a little more worried about all this? Yes. I knew you had sense. I was thinking it would take me more like a week. Oh, you were thinking that, were you? With all <laughs> You're not gonna let him win. Well, if it's all the same, I'd write it down. It's a tough tune. Bodyguards with them all the time. So they let you win, but that doesn't mean you don't know how to play. He wears a panic button on a chain around his neck. 
Looks like an ordinary star of David. What's up with Bruce Willis and, and Josh Hartnett? How do I get in his apartment? I can't just walk in the front door. You do me, I do you. We're both gay. The world doesn't understand. It's double suicide. You walk in here shooting your fucking mouth off like you don't give a fuck if it gets shot off. You can only kill me once. Yeah, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You got three days. Call Murph and see if you got a match in that photo that Marty snapped. Where's boss? Oh, where's he been? I haven't seen him in a long time. He shows, people die, he vanishes. No one knows who he is or what he looks like. So now you're gonna have to deal with the police. Benny Bagan, killed by a baseball. This is a rabbi. Between you and me, 20 years ago, he used to be my bookie. She's a coroner? I still can't figure him out in all this. Mm. You should run. I can't. Even though that he's going to be killed in three days. You know, seeing as you have to tell it over and over again. If you and I fell in love, we'd have one hell of a story to tell. She's fucking hungry. Bodyguards nearby. Our boy's not far away, but I can't make out who's with him. And they're all calling the ferry. What went down in the men's room? We talked. And? I told them I thought we should get together sometime. You and me need to talk. Who are you? <laughs> I mean, I know who the fuck are you. <laughs> Which one? Donald Pleasance, Telly Savalas, Max von Sydow? Telly Savalas, who loves you, baby? And I was saying that it was the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Mm -hmm. Roger Moore. George Roger Lee. Moore? Timothy Dalton. Where are you going? I'm just gonna get us some coffee. When you're in love, you have... <coughs> well, how many times you gonna get hit in the stomach? Damn. I don't trust nobody in this movie. I'm not gonna be so nice to you. Oh, this is nice. Don't do me any favors. So we knew he was a hitman, but you don't understand how he fits in this ordeal. And who the fuck is that? Hey guys, what are you doing here? Now's the time. They're running right into an ambush. I mean, damn. I don't trust nobody in this movie. You look good. Some wine. Somebody's trying to kill you. Okay. And who the fuck is that? They're running right into an ambush. These motherfuckers came through the wall. The guy from the fucking train station. So they work together. Why is your elevator sparking like that? Oh, that's why. I hired you to do a job. So you take out the Israelis. Fuck it. If the rabbi the wants a war, I'll give him a war. It caused quite a bit of confusion. Using the wrong name will do that. Saul! I tell you, you can't find good help these days. Saul's dead. You must know. Looks the same as it did 20 years ago. Hit him hard as shit. Then again, it's been 20 years since I've been in the car. <coughs> been 20 years since you've been in the car? Shit. Then keep your hat on, Shlomo. If I was wearing a hat, I'd take it off. Oh, you, you brought this upon our heads. After you murdered my son? They both tied up. What the fuck? Lying to a dead man is the same as lying to yourself. The problem when two men are standing in a room is you can only look at one of them. They were looking at you. Try and appreciate how it feels, Slumo. The only thing keeping you from passing out is the sound of the footsteps of the man going down the hall. You managed to take my son away from me. Now I've taken your son away from you. I didn't know. Your son is dead. <laughs> the schmoo. Okay. This was a setup from the beginning. I think you mean who was Nick Fisher. Fisher was the answer to a question. How do you get to two men that can't be gotten to? And how do you do that? But to do that, I needed a name. 
Hit him with that ball. Motherfucker, you need to pitch for somebody. With a lot of red in the minus column. Low life that no one was gonna miss. Oh, they are together. Now, who is Bruce Willis to you? That was fucking Nick Fish. There was a time. And that watch. Dude in the bag. Yeah. All that was left to do was make the phone ring. So he killed the son. And wait for you to call the man who does the job Shit. that no one else wants. You gonna punch him in the face? Just saw you grab your nose. Man who ran my book was hit yesterday. I need you to make it look like it ain't what it is. Kansas City Shuffle. Nick 1729. Nick Fisher. That's how they set this whole thing up. Can't say that I blame you. Why are you here? Because if we had been friends, I wouldn't have been hired to kill your son. What is this favor? Concerns a matter of debt collection. And then I was free to come and go as I pleased. There is no they. I did this to you. Why? Everybody wants to know that. Who are you? Who is he? What about dental records? What else do, what else they got in store? Hey, Burkowski, it's Murphy. Tired a few years ago. Hey, you know he was in this movie. Just stares at it. I said, what is it? You know the kid? He knows that name, Slevin. Oh. Oh. That's why she changed. That's why he took his watch off. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a kid. Seven horse, ten to race. Ring a bell. You all killed his dad. I set up shop in New York before people started waking up with knives in their bags. His name was Max. And that was your, Max's dad. Roth laid the bed off. Oh. They were both there. They are the opposite of happy. Max, his wife, his kid. Oh, shit. Did kill a horse. Boy, look how they did Bruce Willis. I figured Bruce Willis was probably the guy that was supposed to kill you. What have you done with my son? He's the boy. You? No. No. You're dead! So, Harry's going on about how they had to bring in a specialist to kill the kid. He says the horse's name was Lucky Number Slevin. You remember this part? Yeah, y'all did that to his dad. <laughs> The two of you killed everything I ever loved. Damn, you motherfuckers. Fuck you both. Damn, he killed y'all like y'all killed his dad. And keeping company with the boss and the rabbi, seeing as how they had some involvement with that very same horse. This is like, um, usual suspects. He says the name Calevra is Hebrew. Bad dog. It was him that killed his moms. 20 years ago, he used to be my bookie. You killed his moms, bro. Talk about a fucking revenge. Man, the cop was dirty. It was extra filth. Did that to that kid's mom. He worked for them. Oh, she's not dead. What the fuck? Your girl made me. She took my picture. She's got to go on the ground. That's why you faked her death? He told me that we needed to kill you. Vest? Uh, why'd you do that though? Why'd you take that chance? You don't even know this girl! Uh. I mean, I can see why. I'm about to say, eh? he mad smarter than that. I didn't think he'd understand. No, I don't know. How'd you find out about us? I'm a world-class assassin, fuckhead. Fuckhead. Dad's watch. I want to go home. Neither of us is going home for a long time, kid. The Kansas City Shuffle. Kansas City Shuffle. Okay, once, really, once I realized that, um, Slevin and Mr. Good Cat, once I realized they was together, I didn't know about the the hitman not killing the boy, so I didn't connect that at all. But I knew that there was a connection with what was going on in those two guys. Once I once I saw that they knew each other, once I figured that out, I started. I knew some of the pieces. I didn't know about the cop because they didn't they didn't reveal that the cop killed Slevin's mom, so I didn't know about that necessarily. And I I didn't know nothing about the connection to Josh Harden's character. 
to Morgan Freeman and Stanley Tucci's character until when I when I put it when I put that together with with him being the little boy, I was like, okay. And then Robert and then Robert Forrester just pops in out of nowhere. Danny Aiello was in this film. This is crazy that I've never seen this movie or even heard of this movie. Peter Outerbridge. I, dude, I used to watch him all the time. Grace and Bull, this was, ah, Chef's Kiss. This was a fantastic movie, fantastic film. Until the next time, you Patreons, y'all rock on. Rock on, Patreon. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your attention, please. At Showdown Beats with a Z, baby. What it do, it's the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. And you know I got to keep it locked to the Showdown. This is Showdown. Hold up, it's your boy Slim City, representing my man, Showdown.